Welcome back to the Karibo Championship Cup. Um, we are now in the semifinals and we are going up against Leo, coach of the New York Gym Knights. Um, and this time around it is uh, best of five. Uh, so hopefully I don't get stomped like I did last time where he just brought Danger, Thunder Patrol, and Thunder Dragons. Um, if I can beat one of those decks, hopefully I can uh, beat his lower tier decks. Um, so with that in mind, my game plan going into this is going to be leading off with uh, my Galaxy Eyes deck. Uh, hopefully expecting him to bring Danger or uh, Thunder Dragons. Uh, hopefully build up a strong enough board uh, that he cannot break it. Um, as well as uh, with Galaxy, I do have some targeted targeting protection, uh, so he can't use his fairy tale, uh, uh, whatever I think it's Luna, fairy tale Luna, maybe uh, to bounce stuff back. Um, and yeah, so let us get right into this. Uh, yeah. So like I said, Galaxy, he does lead off with his Thunder Dragons. Um, he won the Rock, Paper, Scissors, making me go first, which is sort of okay. Um, but let's see if I can pull this off. It'd be better if I can... Uh, why can't I hear this? Do, 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 do. It's not my volume mixer. Maybe it's just my headphones. Uh, uh, settings. Oh well, whatever. Let's get into it. So first off, trade in, discarding my Photon Dragon so that I can use Galaxy Trance to create a uh, Cypher Dragon uh, here. Probably should have summoned uh, Afterglow Dragon first. Uh, that way I could discard it when I go into uh, the bigger uh, Cypher Dragon right here. I activate Photon Sanctuary Skin or Galaxy Eyes. Um, and like I said, uh, Galaxy Eyes Cyber X Dragon probably sh should have some of my Afterglow and attach it to this first and then have my other Afterglow, um, my other one. Um, but I was kind of nervous into this and I just end up on Cyber X Dragon as well as Photon Lord. Um, so with this, uh, like I said, even though I do have targeting protection, I do want uh, Monster Gates. Uh, mainly because uh, if this is going into this I don't know what it is I'm expecting danger, danger or thunder dragons um, so if I can negate one of their effects that would be great but if it is plunder patrol having a, a monster negate as well would be good expecting him to lead off with one of his three powerhouses uh, leaning more towards his uh, banishing decks um, and yeah so double protection, but unfortunately he does have the kaiju in hand to get rid of my monster, which isn't targeting, and then he can just use Fairy Tail Luna to target his kaiju and get rid of my other monster. So even though I have targeting protection, he lucked out with both having Luna and a kaiju in hand uh, to get rid of my board, and then he just sets up a bunch of guards, eventually getting into... Uh, Akatos and getting rid of uh, his kaiju and he can just swing for game that um, going into game two of this match uh, of course I want to go second uh, so that he cannot just bounce anything he likes uh, and yeah uh, he did not start off with that great of a hand uh, but of course he has Saluna again but luckily this time I do have a forbidden chalice to negate its effects, to get Photon Pressure, and to advance her into Union Carrier, Union Carrier to get Orbital so that I can get a Galaxy Soldier to uh, get a uh, Galaxy Eyes, which I will discard for two draws. Unfortunately, I do not, not draw uh, that good of cards, so I'm only one run of Excel Light, just in case I need to top deck something very useful. Uh, or if I start with a somewhat working hand, it could get me into place, but here it is kind of detrimental. Um, and yeah, uh, use that to 
to bring back Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon and then tokens to create Photon Dragon and swing for a bunch of damage. Uh, luckily for me, he still bricks super hard with this hand, um, so he can only Luna. And then I will Awakening Dragons for my Afterglow Dragon. So I'm an Afterglow creating Photon Lord. Uh, he tries to negate my effect. Uh, I create Photon Lord there because if he was going to bounce me with Luna, I could negate it with Photon Lord's effect. Um, but he does have Ghost Mourner, but that is still fine because I discard my Afterglow for the negate of the Ghost Mourner, which will allow me to get a Photon Dragon, and he is open, and I am able to win this game. So this goes into game three of the first matchup, uh, and it would be really good if I can actually win it against Thunder Dragons, um, but he gets the pick, but he accidentally <laughs> misclicked and decides to go first. Uh, so this is looking good for me, and he doesn't really have many plays. Trade in for the draw power, use uh, Galaxy Wizard's effect. Uh, actually, summon Galaxy Wizard and then equip Photon Orbital for the extra draw power. Uh, just trying to see what I can get with, with my draw before I choose what I want with Galaxy Wizard. Um, I get Galaxy Trance. Uh, getting Afterglow as well as Photon Dragon. Uh, here, I instead of going straight into Solar Flare Dragon, I probably should have uh, activated Expedition. Uh, just so that I can make sure that I have enough bodies and do not have to worry about this Ghost Mourner, which I didn't know he had in hand. Uh, but she does, and then I basically have no plays uh, except to set uh, photon tokens. Um, and yeah, really messed up right there. Should have created a third monster on board. Um, and, and, but in the moment, I was really nervous <laughs> and was not clearly thinking straight uh, if I had a third monster on board. Uh, I could have uh, probably uh, still continued my plays line, uh, depending on what I had grabbed. If uh, then, I probably would have had just uh, Exceed summoned. Um, but at the time, I was just trying to get plays to get my Galaxy Soldier out of my hand by returning a monster, and then uh, Expedition. So. Uh, getting punished for my greedy plays once again. <laughs> and then I just set two forbidden chalices, and hopefully I can negate everything he has. Of course, he has a kaiju to get rid of my solar flare. Um, and I will forbidden chalices Ekatos, so he, hopefully he does not destroy my board. But he does have a bunch of thunder dragons and can just uh, go into a bunch of plays, try and negate the anaconda to stop him from creating big boy. Uh, which sort of works, but, uh, yeah, he does have enough force to just beat over me, and then in his main phase to uh, get Titan, which is basically uh, GG's for me, since I can only use Galaxy Soldier to get uh, Galaxy Knight. Galaxy Knight try and get uh, my Galaxy back, but he does have the negate with Thunder Dragon Dark. Um, then proceed to try and Galaxy Expedition to get into Infinity to get his Ekatos off the board and swing for some damage. Um, and yeah, sadly I could not stop the Titan from getting on the board and that's basically GG because I cannot destroy it. Uh, pretty good tower monster uh, right there. Try and negate uh, as much as possible. But hey, he will eventually just get rid of my... Uh, Infinity with his Thunder Dragon Titan's ability. <clears throat> and that means I lose the first match. Uh, probably could have won that if I was not greedy with my playline um, and just used Galaxy Expedition for the third monster uh, in that last turn. But yeah, <laughs> uh, going into game two, um, expecting either Dangers or a Bait deck, I decide to. Uh, play my Cyber Dragons, uh, hopefully go second, which I do, uh, 
And once again, of course he has Luna in hand. What the hell is this? Why does he always have a Luna in his start in hand? Uh, Kaiju him, try and get uh, Stardust, uh, Star Destroyer on his field. Um, but with Dimensional Shifter, I cannot use Galaxy Soldier's effect. Um, and yeah. Uh, plate line here though, probably I should have, uh, instead of searching for Cyber Dragon Veer, I probably have should have searched for Corp. I uh, use Corp's effect to get a uh, Cyber Rev system. Uh, so I could special summon Cyber Dragon from my hand and protect it and then uh, go into my play line of creating anima and use an anima to take Jizuriki uh, for the most possible damage. Uh, saving that uh, contact fusion for later. Um, if I had Cyber Rev system, he could not uh, bounce uh, my Cyber Dragon, I believe. Uh, let me read Rev system real quick. I think it's protected. Uh, cannot be destroyed. Oh, maybe he could have uh, bounced it, but I think he would rather bounce the Wrinklished Anima. Uh, it is my strongest monster. Um, and yeah, he just has a bunch of dangers. And some of them he will destroy. If that was my Cyber Dragon with Rev System, he would not have been able to destroy it. He probably would have still uh, gotten rid of uh, Gamma Seal, though. In that case, if he knew what he was doing. Um, and yeah, it still would have been game. You just need to destroy one monster on my field. Um, unfortunate uh, that he started with a D Shifter. And yeah, going into game two, I definitely want to still go second into this. Uh, if only I had decided to go first, I would have been fine since I could Imperial Iron Wall and he couldn't just banish a bunch of shit. Uh, this is how he plays his danger deck. Um, and that would have saved, probably saved me the game. But I was still in the mindset that Cyber Dragons wanted to go second. And I did not believe in my luck to be able to draw Imperial Iron Wall. But... Um, looking at it this way, it is my luck that I would draw Imperial Iron Wall going second. <laughs> um, if I had chose to go first, I probably would not have seen it, knowing my luck. Um, and yeah, he does have Lightning Prisoner near on the field, which means I cannot combo off and end him. Um, and he just creates Grand Maju and basically one shots me and I can't really do anything with lightning prison and mirror on the field and I scoop uh, which means game three or going into match three I am down 2-0 and this is uh, game point for, or match point for him um, so thinking that I think he is going to go with his uh, plunder patrols which is uh, his third strongest deck um, so maybe he is just going to go straight up for game. So I decide to, uh, bring my Rika deck, um, since it is probably my best deck into his Plunder Patrol. Uh, unfortunately for me, <laughs> going first, I start with two Torrentials and a Fury of the Kairushin. So I have three Torrentials, so I cannot, uh, create a strong enough board to possibly, uh, stop him. Uh, luckily, I did not bring ABC because he is bringing system down in his main deck for this, apparently. Uh, that is quite an interesting fact. Um, and yeah, so basically set Rose Girl, uh, since I can't do anything with Freaka, uh, Snowdrop. Um, and hopefully I can get a plant monster on the field. Uh, he does not attack into me. Uh, maybe he thought I was playing... Uh, ABC and I bricked with uh, one of my stronger defense bishop monsters, uh, which he could not be over with a tundra. Um, that's fine for me because I can then try and uh, snowdrop, but apparently uh, I did not know this about Abyss that their field spell turns monster effects into destroy one set spell and trap. Um, that includes things in the hands. Um, if I knew that, I probably would have uh, just normal summon Rico Fairy. I think that would work. 
I'm not sure if it's just activated effects. Activated effects by your opponents. Uh, that is not an activated effect, so I could just get the spell I needed. And then I could have Torrential Tribute it, <laughs> destroying his two monsters. And maybe he had gotten something going there. Um, but who knows? With like a uh, one of my Rika traps, uh, he does get a Cosmic Slight Gun, uh, which is fine because I have three Torrential Tributes. Um, unfortunately for me, Sassy Rookie cannot be destroyed once per turn. Um, so here, go into my playline, Shrine and Rika Fettle. Uh, use my Graveyard Effect first uh, to bait out the Field Spell effect, and then use Rika Petal to get uh, Rika Primula. I don't know why I couldn't summon Rika uh, Primula then uh, off of tributing my uh, Petal. Uh, that is still a mystery to me. Uh, probably could have gone into uh, plays per game, going into Aroma Jasmine. Um, he has another co Cosmic Cyclone destroying my other Torrential Tribute, which is unfortunate. I do try and tribute his monster. Uh, do not want him to switch control. Um, and yeah, but he still has a bunch of plays uh, to. Uh, stop my cards. Uh, apparently, the effect of recent my attack can trigger his uh, playhouse. I did not know that, uh, which is kind of unfortunate that he can just uh, use something that's sort of passive like that. Ugh. Here, just go for the grind game of Rika Petal and Carrot Top. Uh, try and get a big enough board to swing for game. And I do. Uh, going into game two, uh, knowing that he is uh, playing his Abyss Actors, um, I do side out some cards uh, that are better into this playstyle, uh, trying to set up a strong enough board here uh, with my Jasmine to sack for uh, Blossom. I usually do Blossom. Uh, I did Blossom here because I wasn't sure if uh, Primula would have effect would activate it because of the shenanigans of last game where for some reason it didn't activate it when I did my uh, level 1 monster. Uh, here go into a play line of getting uh, Empress of Blossoms to uh, get back uh, my Fairy Archer, using Fairy Archer for uh, Mudain and then Xe Summoning. Uh, to get some protection with my plant monsters. Uh, if he wants to destroy my Jasmine, I can use my Rika to protect it or tribute something else um, and then get a graveyard effect. Um, and I still have Rose Girl in hand, so if he does somehow get rid of one of my monsters, I will have another monster on board for a shield. Uh, but apparently he can just swap my monsters like that. Uh, and we are getting uh, my Rico Queen, but he did give me a 3,000 board. Uh, luckily for me, he did not realize that Jasmine would protect my Empress from being destroyed. Uh, here, going into my rig eight plays, but he does have Fiendish Chains, which means that my Teardrops cannot do anything. Um, I go for an Evil Form playline to create a, a second Jasmine, but apparently I took out my second Jasmine, so I just really screwed myself up there. Uh, could have possibly gone for a uh, another playline of uh, tributing my monsters, uh, but yeah, now I have a bunch of weak monsters on board. Uh, if I had known that, I would have just probably summoned them in defense mode to give me defense so I could survive. Or I would have, I'm not sure if I have the level uh, 1 bird, in, no I do not have the level 1 bird in this deck, that's just my aroma deck. Okay. But yeah, for some reason I did not realize that I took out my second Jasmine and I think that cost me uh, this game. 
which means we are going into another game three and hopefully I can win it so that I can uh, have the chance of winning um, and surprisingly he had just enough damage with my monster uh, to win going into game three uh, once again wanting to go first to protect my board uh, but I once again start with a bunch of fury as well as a turn uh, two furies in hand which is sort of rookie as well as uh, my Talia uh, which I sometimes use uh, search with my Jasmine so I just end on Torrential Tribute and my Teardrop, but he, of course, he has Cosmic Cyclone to destroy my Torrential. Um, use my uh, Teardrop to get rid of his uh, Link Monster, which is probably the best place to hit if he does not have his Pendulum here. Just go for a bunch of damage. Uh, did not want to use Teardrop's effect to destroy uh, or Tribute. Uh, because of uh, in case he summoned a monster but that is going to bite me in the bus because he will just break free his skill so I cannot tribute uh, on his turn which I was hoping for uh, use torrential tribute protecting my uh, water monster as well as skin rose girl and defense mode uh, and then on the following turn, I can just return Carrot Top. But once again, he will just trade his monsters. But luckily for me, Sassy Rookie can't be destroyed once per turn. Here, try and uh, Moonlight Rose my Teardrop back to my hand. Uh, but unfortunately, he does have another Phoenix Chain to gain my effects. And then I try and Empress, but uh, he just tributes it with my own Teardrop. Um, and this is very unfortunate that I just did not uh, use my teardrops effect uh, earlier. <sighs> Leaving it with one material. And yeah, he goes for game with enough damage with my own monster and wins, which means I lost 3 0, and that is it for uh, the semifinals. Um, and yeah, and that is the end of my season 3 uh, run. Uh, very unfortunate uh, if only I had not made those misplays in uh, game three of match one I think it would have possibly been a different story and I probably would have at least seen game four uh, where I probably would have seen Plunder Patrol if I had played Rika in game three but I might not have played Rika in game three knowing the fact that he was could not just go for game with plunder patrols uh and yeah but that is a bunch of what if this um thank you for joining me this season uh hopefully i will see you next season uh we do not have a start date for that though um but in the meantime i will try and start making some more regular content for you guys and maybe i will do some commentary on the finals match uh, which is going to be between Leo and someone from the other division. Uh, it's either going to be Bread Boy or uh, Kylo. Um, personally, I am rooting for <laughs> Bread Boy, the rookie of the year, to hopefully make it there and beat Leo. Even though Leo's in my division, I should be rooting for my own division. But yeah, catch you for that or other content that I will be creating. Bye-bye!